three years after UConn shut down the notorious Spring Weekend celebration, the event is back this April with a new image. The Spring Weekend Programming Committee has been planning throughout the year to provide an event for students that can be safe and enjoyable. Past Spring Weekends, students would excessively drink, partake in reckless behavior, and it would end in pure chaos, which led to the death of 20-year-old Jafar Karzom. According to state police, in 2010, there were 76 arrests for drug and alcohol possession, breach of peace, and other offenses. I've been to like all of them in the past since I was like 18. <laughs> it was it used to be a great time, like everyone would come from all over, but I guess it's not the same anymore. So to manage that, we're handing out spring weekend wristbands. Um, so people will just need to swipe their UConn ID and then we'll give them a wristband. I'll be handing them out all week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, in the Student Union and the Dining Hall, so hopefully everyone will have a chance to get them. The wristbands will allow students access to events that will take place during the three-day themed weekend. The events this year are divided into three pillars, UConn Learns, UConn Serves, and UConn Cares. All of the events are expected to attract a large crowd. Res Life staff will be very um, you know, persistent about um, keeping the rules upheld just because of, you know, the, the incidents that have occurred in the past have been severe. UConn is set to host Spring Weekend 2013 here at the Student Union Mall. Oozball, a traditional UConn Spring event, has been moved to behind North Campus this year. This is a chance for students to let loose and get down and dirty, competing in a friendly match of volleyball in eight inches of mud. With UConn News, I'm Ryan Schaller.